Good morning. Don't mind the chaos in the back. It's the morning. I have brushed my teeth. I have blown out my hair. And then I wanted to record all of that like as a little get ready with me. But my camera died. So phone it is. Today is my book's anniversary and I turned one today. So I was like, oh, I want to take cute pictures. What? Like, this is why I'm not cut out for bayangs. Not the bayangs. But I decided why not do my makeup with you guys. My mom and I want to go to Barnes and Nobles today. So you guys are totally coming book shopping with me. Let's get ready. No way was I going to put a tweezer in here. Anyway. So love putting my hair back, but I'm just going to go with like a natural makeup look today not too not too much this and i like putting it on my hands and acting as if it's a my where i go and i'm gonna go in with my fat beauty blender and i'm just gonna Tap it into my skin. I did my skincare before I washed my face. I put on hyaluronic acid serum. I put on the Tatcha Rice. It's the purple moisturizer. Like it comes in a little thing with a little spoon. Then I'll go in with my Kosas Kosas concealer. Okay, it always has a lot on, so I always try to brush it off. It's giving like Joker. Then let's go in with my Charlotte Tilbury. I love this thing. I don't know. Like it just, the only reason why I love it because it blends in my skin so pretty. So I appreciate that. But I like to let it sit for a little so it can kind of get a little harder. But I'm also obsessed with this. And I know that a lot of people use this because I believe Alex Earl use it as a highlighter but i was like what's the hype and literally it like is so pretty and i love that it's pink so now that i think the bronzer has kind of hardened i'm just gonna go in with the beauty blender and this is kind of damp from yesterday so i always love a damp beauty sponge <laughs> Um, opposed to a dry one. I feel like it just smoothens. It, it's like better for blending and it just feels so much better on your skin too. But now with the concealer, I've actually been enjoying using this brush and it sounds crazy because like who used such a big brush for your concealer, but I feel like it doesn't, it kind of goes a little farther down on your cheek because it's a bigger brush so it doesn't look like it's only on the bottom it kind of looks like it's more underneath to give you that blended out look which i appreciate okay then i'm going with this it's such a cutie pink it's like a cool pink it's not so much a warm pink so you see like it's like peachy too so it's kind of like a subtle a subtle one maybe yeah use a brush and dab it in think maybe the beauty blender soaks up too much of the product and then you're like where did the product go but it's like literally all in the sponge so okay brush it is guys it's all a teaching process i think i'm going to contour my nose just a tad and i kind of just try to use the edge of the but i also make a v and then when my nose kind of gets bigger i then put like that do two v's at the bottom and then call it a day yeah, that's fine. Oh, that was a little too much for comfort, but with the process with my little eyelash ram. But this is like all I'm doing pretty much with my makeup. I like don't like how this came out at all. Just put some more in here. I'll do 
just use my fingers to kind of pluck it out so it's still there, but it's not taken away by the brush. Maybe that's a little better. This Givenchy, the Givenchy um, powder, I love it. I would spend the money on it because I just love the pink and it's such a nice light. I take my little triangle. It doesn't feel so like cakey to me when I put it on. So like I come to appreciate this a lot. And also I feel like just from like a high, well-known brand, like I feel like it has to be good, but that's not always the case. But it's just like my way of thinking, like you're about paying so much money, it should be good quality. Then I take more and I go from where, ooh, powder galore. And it also makes me so sad how powder is like in the air. Like what I paid for is in the air and wipe it away. This also, that technique for here, sharpens the look of whatever. Yeah, so that's how I pretty much do my makeup. We're just gonna do lips and then we're gonna call it a day. I'm gonna take my Kylie lip liner in Kylie. <laughs> I just love this color. Then I'll take the Maraduka, Mar Maracuja. Sorry, juicy lip plump. And I'll just, in the shade white peach, I believe. Yeah, because I like how it's like lighter than all, the, and it goes with like any lip liner too, which I like love. Put on my rare beauty setting spray. Give it a little shakey shake. Oh my God, lie, 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 lie. I don't think, oh, it will show, okay. Like I just put on powder, it's not gonna stay, but it's staying. Okay, now I'm taking this and I'm going to perfect. Now we wait to dry, that we call it a day, we take these off, and then I'm gonna take some pictures to celebrate. So See you when I get ready to go to the bookstore. Hi, okay, I'm on my way to Barnes and Nobles with my mom, so you guys are gonna meet my cute little mommy, and we're gonna go see what they got. The Barnes and Noble by me is like, doesn't have, it's not like updated, like all the Barnes and Nobles that I have been like seeing on people's book YouTube when they go book shopping, so. It still has great books. It's still Barnes and Nobles. It's just she's a little she's a little Barnes and Nobles, so she doesn't get all the all the extra book love. Maybe I'm just going at the bad times where like everybody takes the books, but yeah. So on our way, see you guys there. We have arrived. <laughs> Talk about creeper. So, me listening to Morgan Wallen, I'm like, that's one book I didn't write. 
Anyway, so me and my mom bought our books. She literally told me we have to go on a book buying ban. I was like, don't say that. No, but like, I really should. Even though I don't want to ever. It's fine, but I did get some books and I'm like really, really excited to show you guys. You guys did kind of see it in the videos, but we're gonna organize them in my new bookshelf and put them with the rest. I literally just had one book in the series. I didn't want to leave empty-handed, so I found the like the rest of the books in the series. I think I think there's four, but I might be completely wrong. We'll organize them, make them look so pretty, and then yeah. Peace. <laughs> but here's my bookshelf. So I've decided to kind of like put series here. Because series just always go together because they have like the same book. Yeah. So I do have the first book in the Never After series and I haven't read it. Pretty much like when I saw the Never After series, I was like, oh my god, they have each and every book. And I have not seen the Never After series, like all of them. So I was like so excited to see them. And like I said in my previous video, like when I see them, I buy them. And it's so freaking true. <laughs> so wrecked, scarred twisted hooked but this i don't like what's first so i think hooked is first then it's twisted then it's um good reads <laughs> so hooked scarred wrecked twisted Me and my stupid mouth. Okay, so we'll do. Oh my god, these. Like, this is what I'm saying by, like, they just go together and it just makes me so happy. Okay, I'll do that, right? And I have this Mafia Romance book that I could stick. You're telling me that. And I'm thinking that I did something. I guess we'll just put Flickr in the dark because it just goes with the scheme. I got this interactive journal. It says, find your own, believe, happy. That was my little shopping spree. My mom actually got seven husbands of Hidalgo. I believe I said that right. And the love of my life by Rosie or Rose Walsh. I don't remember. I'm just like basing it off memory, but I read the back of that one and it sounded so interesting. So I'm really, really, really excited to read that one. I'm always so excited to read books if you haven't, if you can't tell. So thank you so, so much for watching. As always, I'm very grateful for every single one of you and how kind you guys are. Stay positive, appreciate you guys and adore you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your day.